All right, so this one's called the Euro Knot or the Persian Knot or the Slip Knot. It's got a bunch of different names. This is what usually the uh, models and celebrities are wearing. They're folding their scarf in half. You have one hand going through the through the joined end. Put it around your neck and you put the loose ends through that loop just like that. You can tuck it into your jacket if you want. Keep yourself warm. There we go. That's how you do the Euro Knot. Here's the one to round. You're going to put it behind your neck. You're going to have it about one third on one side and the rest of the length you're going to have a long end on one side wrap it around your head like so. So you got once around the neck, you got the loose ends, you can tuck them into your coat, keep you warm. There we go, there's the once around. Alright, so the pretzel knot, you want to do that with a, a thin scarf. This ends up being about, you know, three and a half, four inches wide. I'm going to fold the length in half, put it around my neck. I'm going to take the top end of the scarf here and feed it through this first loop. Now I'm going to reach down, I'm going to grab the bottom loose end and then I'm going to feed it through this hole here and there we go, now we've got a pretzel knot. If you're going to paint the town red and you've got a formal event to go to and it's an evening event and you're going to be uh, all suited up the best, I, best way to wear your scarf is the drape. Is it functional? No. But it's all about style at this point. That's how you do the drape. Alright, so here's the fake knot or the false knot. You're going to drape your scarf over your neck. You're going to have one side slightly longer than the other. You're going to put a knot. Have it a little bit closer up to your neck so you don't have to cinch that up. You're going to tie a simple knot. You have a hole in there. Feed the loose hand through the hole. And there we go. That's how you do the fake knot. So one of my personal favorites is the ascot knot. Let me show you how it's done. Drape it over your neck. You're taking one end. You're going to cross it over the other end. And now you're going to feed it up through the back. Through your neck, neck hole here. Tighten that up where you like the, it to be. You can spread out the front here. Giving that ascot look. And uh, it's good to keep your neck warm. Especially with this much uh, material in front of your neck. And then the rest can be buttoned into, into your jacket and keep the rest of your chest and torso warm. There we go, that's how you do the ascot knot. Let's say it's really cold out there, you might want to do a twice round with an ascot knot. So this is how it's done. You have one really short end and you have one really long end. The long end, you can wrap that around a second time around your neck. Having both ends on the underneath side, now you're taking one end crossing over the other end and up through the neck hole, but not both neck holes, just the one that you just crossed over. Spread that out. You can tighten that up as you see fit. There we go, and if whatever's remaining, put that into your jacket. There we go. The uh, twice around with an ascot knot. It's cold outside, you want to keep it simple, how about just go twice around? Put it around your neck, you have a short end and then you have a really long end. Taking the long end, wrap that around your neck and then the little ends, you can either drape them over your shoulder or you can tuck them into your jacket and keep yourself a little bit warmer that way. There we go, the twice around. So this is how you do the reverse drape, you put uh, it over your neck, you have the ends even. You drape, you throw one end over your shoulder, you throw the other end over the shoulder, that's how you do the reverse drape. So here's the reverse drape and tuck. We're going to put this around our neck. We're going to have one short end, one really long end. Take the long end, put it around your neck. Take the loose ends, put them in the loop, like so. That's how you do the reverse drape tuck. So here's the reverse drape and cross. Over your neck it goes, we're going to have one short end, we're going to have the long end go around your neck again. Adjust it accordingly, and the loose ends, we're going to tuck those into your coat to keep your chest warm. There's your reverse drape and tuck. Here's one way to stand out with the figure eight knot. Taking your scarf, fold it in half like so, over your neck it goes. You have a loop on this side, you have two layers here, you have a top part of your loose end and a lower part of your loose end. Taking the top one, put it through that hole, 
You're going to twist it just slightly, revealing another hole, taking the lower end of your loose end here, putting it through, tighten it up. That's how you do the figure eight. So you're taking your convertible out for a Sunday morning drive and it's still brisk outside, you might want to wear your scarf like this. It's the throwover.